Welcome to Electrified. It's your host, Dylan Loomis. I'm only going to include a few short clips so as to make sure most traffic is driven to the users who are actually working hard to upload these full self-driving beta clips. So be sure to check the description after the video and go follow each and everybody in this video. And I also want to touch briefly on the regulatory situation, which by the way, is one of the most confusing things with regards to Tesla that I have ever seen. There are so many different boards and organizations that have some level of say, but ultimately it's going to be a consistently fluent situation. So a big part of the problem right now is just the nomenclature of full self-driving. The regulatory boards are thinking that Tesla is misleading some of the public, which in a sense is true because if you don't read the fine print, there are plenty of, we'll say fools, but that's gonna be the case with any technology. So there will always be people misusing new technology. But enjoy these clips with the audio and then more on the regulatory situation. We'll start at about five minutes and 50 seconds. Do it it's for doing us. it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, there's a car coming. The car's like, oh, let's hurry up. <laughs> First, first left turn. Here we go. Whoa, this is wicked. <laughs> oh, oh, it did it. It did it perfectly. <laughs> wow. Okay, pick the wrong lane. Definitely chose the wrong lane. Okay, no. Oh my gosh. That was insane. Okay, so don't hit that median, please. I'm gonna have to steer through this because this is getting a little crazy. So we should be making a right turn. laws correctly. Don't hit that car, please. <laughs> oh my gosh. It didn't hit the car. That's good. High curvature detected. Are you going to turn off the signal or what? Okay, I turned it off. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is crazy. So a stop sign. crossing the yellow marker. Okay, so it didn't turn on the signal here. Maybe because it's detecting this as a soft curve. Okay, detect, it's detecting that. Good, I moved over. It's detecting the lights pretty good. Yeah, they need to work on the, the throttling. Just feather it just a little bit. Like it just wants, it just kind of goes a little bit too quick. Okay, so turn left. Come on. What are you doing? I swear I'm not drunk, you guys. I'm not drunk. It's my car. It's doing 
doing all this by itself. So this is kind of challenging because there's a lot of construction on the left here. And it's not going to turn. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think those barriers was kind of blocking the vision. So they're going to have to like maybe figure out a way to overlay some kind of map data with the vision because uh, there was like these pylons that were blocking the corner there and I think it had trouble seeing again. The regulators will also need to compromise on some level and understand that Tesla needs to have this technology active with at least a certain portion of the fleet to get the data feedback loop going because this is the only way that true full self-driving and more safety on the streets will ever occur. So that's going to be a delicate balance and it will vary state to state on some level. Tesla is among about 60 companies with permits to operate autonomous vehicles with human backup drivers in California. These companies are basically required to file reports every time there is a driver intervention. Supposedly before Tesla can actually put full self-driving vehicles on California roads, it would have to get another permit from state regulators. However, the California Department of Motor Vehicles didn't respond to questions about Tesla's latest plans. NHTSA, the National Highway Traffic Safety Association, which has basically shied away from imposing regulations because they don't want to stifle safety innovation, says that every state holds drivers accountable for safe operation of their vehicles. Now, NHTSA does regulate the automakers, and they have said that they will monitor these Teslas closely and will not hesitate to take action to protect the public against unreasonable risks to safety. They also said that they have indeed been briefed on Tesla's new system, which it considers to be an expansion of driver assistance software, which does require human supervision. That's a big distinction. They followed up saying no vehicle available for purchase today is capable of driving itself. Now, there's also the NTSB or the National Transportation Safety Board who has faulted Tesla in the past for those fatal crashes, but these board members who have no regulatory powers have said they are actually frustrated that the safety recommendations have been ignored by Tesla and NHTSA. As mentioned, at the state level, there are different bills that have been enacted into legislation, so I included a link below so you can search for your state to see what's what where you reside. And you, of course, have the federal level, the U.S. Department of Transportation. They work with the White House, and they have recently developed AV 4.0, which builds on previous versions of federal autonomous vehicle guidance, coordinating efforts across the federal government with places like federal agencies, innovators, and the public. Essentially, AV 4.0 establishes federal principles for the development and integration of automated vehicles consisting of three core focus areas, prioritizing safety and security, promoting innovation, and ensuring a consistent regulatory approach. So yes, there will be regulations on some levels and there will be many eyes hyper-focused on Tesla and every negative incident. However, the overall picture, everybody wants innovation, everybody wants more safety. It's just going to be a balance of how fast and what level of testing these regulatory agencies are going to be comfortable with. But this was just meant to be a brief primer on the situation. I will explain this a lot more clearly and in depth in the coming weeks and months as things progress, but hopefully this gives you a starting point. But that will wrap it up for today's episode. Please take a moment to like the video if you did. Consider sharing this with friends or family members to help educate them on the autonomous vehicle space, especially with regard to Tesla and the regulations. Consider subscribing for more Tesla content and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Have a great day.